Hello, bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and oh hi everybody. What is going on? It is Gail Riot here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Don Machi Memorial Freeze video. And today we are going to be taking on the light zone from the seven zone stages so that we can finally make that promised video about eyes in PvE stages. I've been waiting for this for so goddamn long. Every week since part one began, Every week I'd come into the seven zone stages and I'd get disappointed because there is never a light zone stage. But finally, with only a couple of days to go before part two begins, we have the light zone stage right here. So we're going to go in there. We're going to test out eyes and see how good she can actually be. So, of course, if you guys go on to enjoy this video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more Don Machi and Don Mimo content, of course. And let me know in the comment section down below if you have used eyes in a PvE scenario. And I know some people will be talking about a certain PvE scenario, which I'll address in just a second. But if you have used her in a PvE scenario, what do you guys think about her? Do you guys like her dislike her do you guys think she could have been a bit better let me know in the comment section down below now of course i know some people will say well gail there was a good pve scenario for her the familiar rush right second stage of the familiar rush well i agree that that was a good place for us to potentially test her out in but i felt like it would have made her a bit too nice to look at because of course you've got spirit killer which was effective in that stage we had magic res down we also had um of course the whole dark res down thing as well so i feel like it would have been a bit too good of a scenario for her whereas i feel like the light zone is a little bit more neutral it's of course gonna still be in the dark unit's favor but i feel like it's a little bit more neutral a little bit more balanced so for me personally i think i was waiting for the light zone stage more so than taking her into the familiar rush because i felt like it would have been too good for her it would have been a too good of a scenario for her so i've decided instead that the light zone is where i really wanted to test her out so i've been just waiting for the light zone to come and it's finally here so now we can test her out and see how good she actually is and we're gonna go in increasing difficulty we'll start off at normal we'll go to hard then very hard and then we'll go to extra so obviously stick around if you want to check out how good she will actually be in the final stage so for this uh stage and this light zone stage specifically i'm gonna be taking this team i'm gonna be taking this team and it's a very interesting combination of units you might be saying that already but i think that this will be uh i think the best team for eyes at the same time now i was thinking of you know taking a magic res down assist properly like Dem uh, demeter or somebody rather than uh seer who is minus 15 percent p res and m res but i am taking finn and i still want to be able to beat the stage and i want finn to do some damage there so we're taking him in as well and of course as you can see by the team we're gonna go for a little bit more offense here of course i'm taking lafia in order to make sure that we can get that whole situation going where she's able to inflict that aoe damage increase of course as well as the um as well as the uh uh what's it called the magic res down minus 40 percent right and then we'll have haruhime coming in from the back who's also going to be actually this is going to be her showcase as well technically uh we're going to be testing out haruhime as well in this scenario and see how well she'll perform in this sort of situation as well so let's see how this team performs of course i've given them stun anklets and everything um it's not the perfect team i would prefer it if i obviously had reveria mlb if i had zard instead of aphrodite and stuff like that but of course this is the best i can take Take with what i have of course right we are also taking astraea by the way because of the fact that if you guys know um a lot of eyes damage especially on her additional attack right um high dark magic da attack damage plus 70 percent per each self regen effect so she relies on hp and mp regen which of course uh astraea does give so we're gonna rely on that a little bit and uh hopefully you know we can see her in the best light possible so let's get into it and uh, let's get into it and let's see what this team is capable of doing and how ice can perform now of course we're going to be going into a stage where basically we're dealing with uh very easy mobs because this is of course a uh, uh normal stage right it's not a difficult stage whatsoever so we're gonna go with this uh we're gonna go with that uh double cannon and we're gonna go snow silver yep snow silver is what we're gonna go for i have no idea why i'm necessarily taking my uh uh haruhime here but we we do not question it <laughs> we do not question these things i don't know why i'm taking that horror he made to be quite honest but hey it is what it is it is what it is all right we're gonna use sakuna again uh i'm gonna do actually no i'm not gonna use sakuna because i can just use canon uh Ryzen over here um we will use uh yeah we'll use insanus floor and then we'll go for dark bloom yeah let's do this so migiri insanus floor canon Ryzen, and uh dark bloom 
All right, let's see. Let's see what the... Oh, okay. I mean, turn two is good. So far, so good. So far, so good. 600k that was, I think. That was 600k uh, across multiple enemies, which is really, really good. Um, I am actually curious. Unit popularity, light zone. What are people running here? Yeah, people are running her. Okay, good, 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 good. I was curious. I was very curious. I know people are, of course, run on, are gonna run Astraeus and Finn because, of course, Hero Festa with Astraeus and Dark Finn is still very, very good, of course, right? Kurumi as well. Um, but I was curious to see if people were actually taking eyes, but they are taking eyes and they are taking Haruhime as well. Um, let's move on to Hard and see how we fare there now. Um, but yes, the reason why I was uh, considering. Um, using um harihime sakuna once again was to get the sa gate charge but the more i thought about it i was going to use her special arts on turn three anyways that is to say harihime special arts so in my person I, I i guess it would have made no difference um either way let's uh, carry on and uh let's get things rolling i probably should because i don't think i'd be able to get the special arts on turn three if i didn't use sakuna so i guess i i probably should anyways do that i think yeah i think i should probably do that anyways all right let's uh let's see how this uh rolls now okay so we'll use dark bloom we'll keep using sakuna in sana's floor and ken on ricin so that should allow us to get uh yeah yeah i think without uh, uh without uh haruhime's ability we wouldn't have been able to get it off um of course this isn't a turn two kill because the only person dealing damage here was of course haruhime so there was no point in me do uh you know talking about it necessarily um we'll take a look at it in uh, just a moment once we see the special arts go off assuming um finn or uh <laughs> either finn or uh yeah let's see how much does, uh, does this do 700k nearly you know what i kind of dig that I'm, I'm i'm liking that i'm liking that damage to be quite honest you have to remember that it is an aoe attack so it's not gonna be absolutely mind-blowing but it's good damage and remember i'm also only plus four you will get a bit of a stats boost as well because i am missing um some panels right so if i go over to eyes here right um 1800 magic uh, you, you this magic stat should be nearly 2100 or something like that basically because we're missing 300 magic points basically here um so it, it it's it's going to massively increase as well um so yeah i i think you know we have to keep that into consideration as well we have to take that into consideration as well that that magic stat should be much higher in fact let's go over to the uh let's go over to the um album quickly because i want to actually see uh Isa's magic stat uh without any cp or anything i scroll past all the eyes one second um if we go over here right plus uh hero ascension maximum so this is without uh cp levels by the way this is without cp level stats 2100 so technically it should be around 2200 give or take at plus five it seems like which is really really good and the reason why i'm saying also that you know cp levels don't count here um is it was 1800 there uh when we checked it in a, mo a moment ago right uh let's see plus four is 1700 so it, sh it should be a hundred high i have it at a hundred higher a ha hundred higher jesus i was struggling there no idea why so yeah I'm, I'm missing nearly 300 points of uh um you know actual uh magic uh power so of course keep that in mind that will make a bit of a difference as well you know that does make a little bit of a difference as well so definitely definitely you can expect more power and of course the assists as well if i had kali plus five that would be obviously 20 percent dark attack damage um if i had of course the uh reveria um if my uh signal can come back please elgato um but if i had reveria plus five as well you know that's minus 20 25 percent dark res as well which would have been insane and then of course if i take i've taken an actual magic res down assist right minus 25 percent with like either it is tiona or you know uh hermes from the fourth anniversary i think we would be having a much stronger team here and also if i had of course a um assist that can give magic 25 percent to the whole team th there are so many factors here that are you know lowering eyes capabilities it's not like me taking my light team into the dark zone because this team will obviously dominate because i pretty much have the entire assist lineup and units perfectly set up for this team right everything is pitch perfect when it comes to this team the only thing missing is the str plus 25 percent to all allies right but there's a reason why this team will perform super for me because i have everything in terms of the ingredients for this 
it's not so much the case, right? It's not so much the case, unfortunately. But that is something for people to bear in mind. When you're looking at this eyes in terms of the damage output, I, I think that the main thing to note is the fact that this isn't her best case scenario um or this is her best showing because of course of those limiting factors i should say the best case scenario is probably this maybe adjusting the uh adventures a little bit again if we do get another dark magic unit 100 percent kick fin out that's the main thing and i think that will be also something i think will you know boost eyes quite a bit because of course eyes is uh, ability and her special arts right because this is something to take note of is her special arts i wouldn't say is great for pve and i was going to talk about it a little bit later on when we did use it we would probably be using it in ex of course right um but it's not a perfect uh sort of like special arts for pve yes it does decrease the opponent's str magic and obviously the mres by 60 percent and everything but the the damage isn't there right the damage isn't there because it's only a temporary grade magic boost it's not relying on uh, you know increasing damage like how her additional actions are with the self region effect it's not increasing by 70 percent per each self region effect if it was the case it would have been insane you know this with like 90 percent 270 percent damage on her special arts oh Ooh, it would have been insane it would have been honestly insane but that's not what they've done so we have to keep that in mind as well um all right let's take a look at this now this is very hard of course right this is very very this is very hard um this is where i i i'm fearing for lafia a little bit i'm not gonna lie lafia may uh not live after this one um from this point onwards it's very likely uh but we'll hope that she survives i hope that she survives fingers crossed um, one thing I could actually do is I'm probably going to switch around the assists on uh, Haruhime and Lufia just so that she can potentially survive. Um, but we'll, we'll come on to that in EX because we're fine now. We are fine so far. All right, let's, uh, let's carry on from here on out. So 140k, 500k. Interesting. In interesting that uh, there's a little bit of resistances here at this point. One, one thing I want to check actually. So they've increased their resistances to everything else. But yeah, of course, uh, this is also still a very wanked scenario for Eyes and the Dark Team because the light zones and all that, they have an inherent weakness to these elements as well. So keep that in mind as well, that this is also a very wanked scenario, but it's I feel like it's not as wanked as, you know, the Familiar Rush. I feel Familiar Rush was uh, is a bit too wanked for, uh, for them, in my personal opinion. Um, either way, let's carry on. Special Arts, uh, Blood Fury Spear, and... Uh, Senritsu Ma uh, Maika. Let's go. Let's let's launch it. <laughs> let's 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 launch this and see how we fare here. Um, but yeah, I think uh, you know, it's still great. It's still get 400k. Ooh, that damage, man. That damage is good. It is good. It is very, very nice. I really like that damage. And the reason why they're not taking any damage, by the way, is because you have to remember that all these units, right? They have an inherent uh, dark res. Uh, sorry, light res. Sorry, 45% inherent light res, right? So that's why they're not taking any damage. While, unfortunately, light Haruhime is. <laughs> um, so keep that in mind. All right, let's use this again. Uh, I don't think we will need... Uh, I do not think we will need uh, to see uh, Aiza Special Arts in this fight particularly. Because <laughs> the damage is insane. Honestly, the damage is ridiculous. Alright. It, it's insane. A lot of the damage comes from the additional actions. Which is kind of weird because this is something I've realized. Outside of bet, right? When you take a look at the part 1 units, right? When you take a look at the part 1 units. A majority of their damage comes from the additional actions. Which is insane. It's the same with even Argonaut to an extent as well, right? Even the Argo unit that we got recently, right? Argo and, uh, you know, Ariane, the Argonaut banner. Even his a bunch of his additional action damage is ridiculous because especially if you get get him those debuffs going of course pv it's a lot harder to get those debuffs going but still a lot of the damage comes from the additional attacks rather than the special arts reveria is the same this eyes is the same argonauts the same which is kind of weird but because i don't really get the reason why they've gone in that direction because it feels like it's holding the units back a little bit from being exceptional um across both pvp and pve of course reveria is only pve anyways but like yeah still you know what i mean right it's like you know 
Argo and Ice, good units for PvP, arguably great units for PvP, not excellent or groundbreaking or revolutionary, but really great units for PvP. But then if you take them into PvE, uh, PvE scenarios, right, it's a lot more trickier to use them because of the way they work and the way uh, they operate, right? We're not going into the dark zone, light zone is where I wanted to go. Um, but yeah, it's kind of weird in that regards, and especially with Ice as well, and even if you look at Ice and Argonaut, right, their conditions of uh, getting extra damage is much harder than the average unit. The average unit, you know, oh, per STR buff, per magic buff, per agility buff, or per critical crown rate buff, or something like that, right? It's much easier to get those going because you can apply those very easily. Regen effect, well, I mean, there's only three key ways of getting regen. HP regen from adventures, HP regen from assists, and MP regen from assists. You can't get MP regen on... Uh, adventure is yet of course right so that's something to note as well it's like you're only going to get three buffs at most and it's also not uh, something you'd want to actively take into uh it's not something you actively take into uh a pve stage right maybe you'll take the mp regen for uh, from ali of course right uh but hp regen mp regen from other assists is kind of hard to you know accommodate for because you're taking away a slot because there's no assist that gives like minus 25% magic res and you know 20% HP regen there's no th there's not an assist that does that right so that's the reason why I feel like this is very tricky and then if you look at Argonaut as well right same situation where his uh damage is based on oh the enemy debuffs his Esther and magic well I mean there's not many PvE stages that can do that seven zone is one of them but otherwise it's very rare it is very rare record buster doesn't do it whatsoever and stuff like that so I, I feel like that that is something that i'm not really liking what they're doing with the anniversary units but we'll see what happens in part two in a couple of days time anyways enough chit chat about all of that let's get into the e ex stage for the seven zone the final stage and uh let's see what happens here like i said i think i'm gonna probably see uh uh our our lovely friend uh uh, sadly pass away here um lafia that is um she's not gonna survive this i don't think but hey if they don't attack her it'll be fantastic please don't attack her just if, as long as they don't attack her we'll be fine oh please 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 uh oh uh oh uh oh beautiful 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 te amo i i, I thank you so much thank you so much um sakuna and uh dark Bloom. yeah there we go <laughs> I, I love these guys. Thank God. Finally. All right. Now, let's see what we're cooking with from this point onwards. Now, let's see what we're cooking with. All right. Uh, special arts. First and foremost, Blood Fury Spear, uh, Senritsu, Micah, and uh, this one. Um, but yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, unfortunately, we have been inflicted by the s and Magic debuff from these guys on uh, Haruhime. So kind of less damage uh, these next couple of turns, but let's see. Maybe we can still get away with it a little bit. 700k, that's fine. We'll probably see it being a little bit stronger now because of the fact that we will uh, obviously get a little bit of a helping helping hand from uh, um, Haruhime, the new one, because what she does on her second skill, uh, that is to say Dark Haruhime, is that she is able to effectively uh, reduce the amount of turns that the opponents have a status buff on them, and of course, allies' status debuff is minus two turns as well. So it's really nice in that regards. We're going to go for Midiri, uh, Blood Fury Spear, and let's let her rip. All right, Dark Bloom once again, getting that damage now. Ooh, yes, there we go. The damage is coming back. The damage is coming back indeed. Uh oh, uh oh. Do not KO her, please. Just calm down, calm down. No! Wow! How? How did Harimi be the one to die, bro? That's crazy. Okay, it's time to see if we can uh, solo this lady, uh, these guys now. Uh, I'm very curious to see if we can solo these, uh, these peeps. Let's see. Alright, I'm gonna have to probably use the first skill again um, in a moment just so that we can get the HP regen fill, filled back up and everything. Um, we will use the double special arts, but I'll use it when we get Finn up as well. So, let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna use Sakuna again, I think. Um, yeah. Let's use Sakuna again. Ah, I hate that Haruhime died, man. I wanted to see Haruhime plus uh, Aiza's special arts. Honestly, that's what I wanted to see. Uh, I hate it here. I don't know why she just literally took a big big hit even though she's supposed to have light res and everything she just took hits basically that's that was nuts that was insane 
Um, so we'll go with that. We'll do this and uh, see what happens here. All right. All right. We'll, we'll use it on the next turn. We'll use it on the next turn. All right. There we go. Whew. Okay. Now it's time for us to use the special arts on both uh, Finn and uh, Haruhime. As well, uh, not Haruhime. Ice. So let's do this. There we go. And uh, let's launch. Avenger Eclipse. Let's see how much damage this does. I'm very curious to see what damage we can get from here. 1.55 million is still not bad, you know. Of course, it's, everything is in that favor. And, you know, we've seen, of course, uh, Finn literally just do 2.5 uh, 2 million. Uh, but again, it's you can't really necessarily judge it, in my personal opinion, because of the way uh, I Ice's special arts is set up. You know, if you know what I mean, um, I feel like it's not really fair um, to judge it that way, in all honesty. Um, all right, let's use Migiri once again. I think we'll be done after this attack, I feel. Um, we should be done. There we go. That should be it. There we go. Beautiful. We saw 900k there from the additional attack as well because of the fact that we got minus 60% dark res as well. Or magic res, sorry. Minus 60% magic res. So there you go. Um, still, not bad a score. We just only unfortunately got an A because of the fact of uh, <laughs> Haruhime dying. Thanks, Haruhime. Appreciate you a lot. To be fair, I think also having a plus 3 assist is not really the best thing to happen. Um, but yeah, I think eyes uh, is good, of course. I just feel like there are some limiting factors. You have to remember that, of course, like I said, with Finn, you know, the 90% ultra dark uh, dark physical attack damage plus 90% per E itself as your buff. This is something that I would have liked on uh, eyes as well, right? And of course, he managed to get the STR because Kali gives STR to all allies. And then, of course, he gives himself STR as well, right? So, you know... I feel like uh, at the end of the day, it is unfortunate that they didn't give her that because I feel like if they'd given her th given her that, I think she would have been an, a fantastic PVE unit. She still can be an ex excellent PVE unit in certain situations. I think we also need to see what's going to come up in terms of a another maybe dark magic unit because if we do, I think it's going to be great because right now, unfortunately, I mean, I don't have the greatest of setups here to be quite honest uh, to show you guys, but we can go into the album. But there's not many dark magic units as well. Well, I mean, the last great dark magic unit we got, that's AoE. Of course, single target, we do have the uh, dark eyes that we got in um, Sword Oratoria 10's, uh, you know, adaptation and event. But uh, in terms of AoE, the last one, I guess, was eyes from the Data Live event, like, last year. Um, so, honestly, it, we just don't have that much options, right? That many options. Or, no, this size is from even way before then, I think. I think this size was from way before then. I could be wrong, though. Somebody can correct me. I think she's from last year's event, but... We just, we just don't have that many dark, dark options, unfortunately, right? We have single target options with Origami, with SO10 eyes. But AoE Dark Magic is... It's lacking. It's lacking quite a bit. Um, so yeah, I think if we get one more, I think we can make a good thing going there. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section of this video. Do you guys like Ice's PVE standards or do you think she could have been done better? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm very curious to see what you guys have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please be sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.